Ladies and gentlemen, non binaries, it's your boy Brian once again at Nola Most of in Avondale, Louisiana, here at Grid Life 2020 Bayou Bash. And I was walking, just walking around, and I saw something, and I thought, you know what, this person should be interviewed because they have a very basic car, but it's still a fun car. Underrated, in my opinion, but other people say it's not that good. Uh, schematic, semantics, whatever the word is. But, anyways, I am joined by. Yeah. Amelia, and you are in your RX RSX, correct? Yes. Is this the Type S, Type R? This is the Type S. Uh, all the the ones that are Arctic Blue Curl have to be Type S, so that's how you know for this one. All right, now is this your first time here? Yeah, first time in New Orleans, even. Oh, welcome to Louisiana. Now, uh, your car is very, very, pretty much stock for the most part. Yeah, pretty stock. I mean, just the important stuff has been done. So I have some 200 kilometer tires um, after you know doing some track events on all seasons, and then I have the brakes upgraded with track pads, track fuel, and track motors. Like now, question: What got you into racing? Everyone has their their story. Like me, I grew up with a dad that drag raced, but I fell in love with road course racing and then stock car racing, and just fell in love with every type of racing from rally to drifting to time attacks. What was your moment that got you pulled into racing you know i mean my dad was always a little into cars and we were an airplane family originally so i i was flying a little bit um and so that actually lended itself pretty well to like kind of being bold and trying something you know different and kind of scary um and then i started being really interested in formula one and watching it and i realized like i'm not satisfied just watching it i really want to try it for myself uh then i met some great friends in college who were all car guys uh, they were in the Formula SAE team, and they took me to track events, and then I finally bought my own car. Right. Now, everyone, there are levels to, to racing. You don't just immediately dive into the top form. You have to work your way up. So you're working your way up from the grassroots point of view, from, um, uh, what's the term? Uh, from HPD? Yes. Yeah, High Performance Driver Education, I think is what they call it. But yeah, yeah and it's it's like just non-competitive. Uh, it's really great because the focus is on learning and like improving yourself. So. Yeah. so, in all of racing, who is a driver that you admire or look up to or at least aspire to be better than? Because we all want to be better than our peers or what? Sure. Yeah, I mean... I don't know that I necessarily like, aspire to be better than other people right now. I I guess the people who inspire me the most are the people who are in the worst, the shittiest cars, the oldest, most clapped out ones. You know, whenever I talk to them and I see that like, it doesn't matter that they don't have something new and fancy, they just wanted to go out there in, in what they have. Hmm. And uh, that's inspiring. For the love of it, for the passion of it. That's yeah. what we're all here for, for the passion of cars and just racing and just being on the track or sideways on the track even yeah exactly. so do you want to walk around show us show off the car a little bit sure i mean not so, <laughs> nothing super special but when i bought this car the last owner had duct taped a hose from the stock airbox to a pod filter and so um i had to fix that just this is just an ebay one for now because i was broke when i bought this car uh and then these are jdm type r headlights uh they were an awesome christmas present <laughs> they sometimes work <laughs> And a uh, some like rep strut bar that a track friend just gave me. You know, people are cool like that. Sometimes they just want shit out of their garage. Uh, probably my favorite part of the car right now is my work wheels. Hey. Uh, yeah, CR Kai's real skinny boys right now, 17 by seven. But I did buy some 17 by eight Volks for probably next season or the season after. Um, yeah, I love these wheels. And then some stickers from the tracks that I've done before. That's uh, Gingerman and Autobahn in the Midwest. Um, and then my, you know, my big wing. Your big wing, Love big wing car. girl. Yeah, I bought that off another RSX friend, so yeah. Interesting going on. Yeah, but it's something to start with, something exactly. to learn from, something That's to the build. Best way. It's the best way to start is with something super like basic and slow. Like I have this friend that we encourage him to go on track in his Honda Civic that was so base model it didn't even have a tachometer despite being manual. We had to shim the battery with a block of wood. Uh, he doesn't have ABS, he has drum brakes in the rear, but we made him go on track anyway and he learned so much. Like you really you really do learn a lot when the car can't hide your mistakes. So well I thank you for your time. Sure. I wish you the best of luck. I mean 
you got you got a, a great platform to build off of and I mean maybe in the future no civic type R civic, <laughs> you know okay. or maybe I just make this car as fast as civic type R absolutely because sometimes it's not the model it's the driver because yeah. I believe there's a quote straight line is for fast cars but turns are for fast drivers absolutely yeah so I thank you for your time and I wish you the best of luck in everything thank you so much no problem